Well, here's uh, what I got done on the uh, sawmill so far. I've uh, got the wheels turned down. I took uh, my uh, electric planer. It has a carbide blade in it to true up the wheels here so that they would be uh, a little more perfectly round than they were before. I I just uh, changed wheels and I put them on this drive, you know, the one that drives off the uh, motor there, you know, it drives around. I just kind of put my electric planer on there as the wheel is spinning and I just planed it off and uh, right here is what uh, the shavings look like. I had to grind quite a bit of it down to to get them around. I don't believe these uh, trailer rims are real accurate, I, you know, as far as, uh, you know, the rim and being centered with the lug nuts and all that, so I don't know if car rims are to be any more precise or not, but it was like maybe about a sixteenth or an eighth inch had high, uh, you know, kind of off-center like, you know, so anyway, I got that fairly well centered and it's tracking pretty good and uh, I had to reinforce this, put a bigger bolt in there so it wouldn't move. A person could probably use an axle like I did on the other side and uh, make it a little bit more uh, sturdy and uh, let's see what else have I done. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Well, I balanced the wheels. I put uh, the one over on that side there. It balanced perfect, and on my wheel balancer. But I had to put a couple ounces on this one here to get it balanced. And it's fairly good for fairly big size wheels. I think are can't remember how many diameter it was. 27 inches, I believe they are. But uh, anyway, I got all that uh, little. Those little pieces of rubber sticking out. These are brand new tires. Well, you can still see them right there. Let me turn around this way. Kind of see it. But yeah, I got that pretty well. I had all kinds of uh, you know that rubber stuff planing. It worked pretty good. But uh, planer was cutting it off. And uh, I'll start her up here and uh, show you what it looks like. Eh, choke it a little, maybe. I tried cutting with it and its blade was diving down as I started cutting, uh, you know, deeper in there, you know, so I guess I got to put uh, some uh, blade guides on there. And I've made some and here's what they look like. This is just uh, some angle iron and put, uh, you know, some bearings right here and one in the back. Got a slot out there with the grinder deals and uh, the hole that this bolt goes through uh, on this uh, bearing here it's bigger than what the bolt is so they'll 
slide up and down, you know, and uh, to smash the blade and kind of, I guess it's supposed to guide the blade straighter, so I haven't got that on there, but you know, here I'll stick it on here and kind of show you how it's going to look. Let's see. Maybe put it back on there like that, I would say, you know, so kind of get the idea, huh? Put it back here. I'm going to make this side here slide, you know, this way and that way on that. And uh, I'm going to hook it to this thing here, guide, so it slides back and forth. Put a handle back here, rig something up that way, and uh, I guess... Uh, that's about all I need to do is figure out some guides on it. I think that's about all I got to do on it, I think. It's been a little cold out, so I haven't been really working on it. So I'll get on it here uh, when it warms up a little bit. So Anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.